This is for Buckface Charlene. This is, yeah, like the fourth time I've done this. So, here it goes. So number one is Recite a Poem. And uh, this one is called A Worm in My Pocket by Jody Samano. On a rainy day, one rainy day on my way home from school, I found a big worm and thought it was cool. I picked up the worm with my bare hand, held it up high, thinking how grand. The worm was so cute and wiggled a lot, I put him in my pocket to show mom what I'd caught. What will she say when I show her my find? Will she keep? Will she let me keep it? I hope she won't mind. Mom was in the kitchen when I showed her what I'd found. She screamed, no way, put it back in the ground. Now I'm so angry, she always says no. If she won't let me keep it, then I will just go. So me and my worm packed a sandwich or two, ran out the door, down the street, we both flew. We walked to the park and sat on a bench. I pulled out my worm and noticed a stench. He looked kind of floppy, but wiggled a bit. I thought, oh my gosh, my worm is not fit. I laid him in the dirt and let him go free. I guess in my pocket was not the best place to be. <clears throat> and number two says, read the first page to one of your favorite books. Um, I already read, like, I already did that already. So I'm just going to read, like, the first page of the chapter of the chapter that I'm on. Um, it says, for the first time since he began his monologue, the old man had managed to take Blanc this by surprise. He had to ask him to repeat it to be sure he had heard correctly. Nothing in the cuttings had hinted a mur at a murder. It was September 24, 1966. Harriet was 16 and had just begun her second year at prep school. It was a Saturday and it turned into the worst day of my life. I've gone over the events so many times that I think I can account for what happened in every minute of that day, except for the most important thing. He made a sweeping gesture. gesture. Here in this house, a great number of my family had gathered. It was a low-sum annual dinner. It was a tradition which my father's father introduced and which generally turned into, a pr into pretty detestable affairs. The tradition came to an end in the 80s when Martin simply decreed that all discussions about the business would take place at regular board meetings and by voting. That's the best decision he's ever made. You said that Harriet was murdered? And that's the page. So, number three. Read the little blurb on the back of your shampoo bottle. I don't feel like going to get my shampoo bottle. So I'm not going to do that one. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> four. Do a tongue twister. Uh, hold on. Okay. It says, I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits and where she sh what? Okay. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines and where she shines, she sits. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits and where she sh oh fuck. Okay. Um, number five. Say something in a dif different language. Um, okay. Me gusta tocar el clarinete. Uh, yeah, that, was, that felt weird. Um, number six. Share an anecdote. Um, okay, well, a couple days ago, someone took trombone slide oil and decided to draw penises on the lockers in the band locker room. And yeah... The band directors are pretty pissed about that. Um, number seven. Do the rains in Spain stay mainly on the plains? Is this a literal question? It's like I don't, I don't know the answer to this. I'm gonna go with no. I don't know. <clears throat> number eight. Summarize the last film or TV episode you watched. I am trying to catch up on Naruto Shippuden. And I think it was episode 73 that I was watching last night. And yeah, he's just like training and stuff. Trying to come up with a new technique. Trying to get as good as Sasuke or whatever. That's like nothing important. Just a bunch of fucking fillers. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> uh, number nine. Let us hear your ringtone and text message sound. I don't have a phone. Yeah. Number 10. Tell a joke. I don't have any jokes. Um, I saw this one thing though, and it made me laugh. 
but I need to find it. Um. Oh shit, okay. Stupid thing, okay. Um, that girl you just called fat? That's a plant. You need glasses. God, I am so lame. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> God, I'm so fucking lame. Ah. <sighs> Number 11, what did you have to eat today? Uh, I made a grilled cheese sandwich and some bacon. And later on I ate a thing called a gancito. And it's it's like this Mexican thing. It's junk food. Um, number 12, talk about something that really scares you. Ghosts. Ghosts scare me a lot. I get so paranoid after watching like a horror movie that had to do with like any kind of paranormal shit like i get so fucking paranoid like that one time that i watched the conjuring i did not get sleep for like a fucking week yeah um talk about something that makes you happy music makes me happy band makes me happy i just really fucking love music um the next thing says, what is your favorite word? I don't have like a specific favorite word, I don't think. Maybe I do, but nothing comes to mind at the moment. And the next thing is, uh, what is your least favorite word? Yeah, I don't know about that either. Um, <clears throat> what sound or noise do you love? Or no, my bad. That's that's another one. <laughs> Number sixteen is, is what turns you on. So I guess deep voices. Yeah, I like deep voices. And number seventeen, what turns you off? If you're like really ignorant or you act like a straight up asshole, I'm not going to like you. I'll probably show it like right away. <laughs> Apparently people can tell when I don't like them. Um, I actually try to hide that, but I guess it doesn't work. Um, number 18. What sound or noise do you love? <clears throat> okay, this is really, really weird. But I like the noise that a backpack makes. <laughs> oh my god. When you, like, I don't know, pick it up or set it down, it makes a certain noise and I don't know I like it <laughs> it's, it, I don't know I'm weird I'm sorry uh number 19 what noise do you hate oh my god when you fucking scrape a fork on a plate if you do that I will murder you oh my god don't ever do that around me same thing if you're chewing gum don't chew it with your mouth opened because no Okay, uh, number 20, what is your favorite curse word? I like to use fuck and shit a lot, I don't know why, it's, it became a habit, it really has. I was not like this before, then I met my best friend Sarah, and every other word is pretty much like a curse word. Uh, and then it is number 21. What profession, other than your own, would you like to attempt? I don't know. 22. What profession would you not like to do? There's a lot, so I don't know about that either. <clears throat> 23. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? I don't know about that either. That's... I don't know. 24. If you're brave enough, sing us a little song. Okay. Yeah, we talked about this already. I'm not gonna sing. One, because I can't fucking sing. Two, I brought my clarinet home, so <clears throat> I'll just play a little song. And this is like a really stupid little song. That was one of our stance tunes. Well, I don't know. We played it once, but here it goes. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I'm sorry for being so lame. <laughs> yeah, I hope you weren't expecting anything like you know, too big or too grand or anything, because, yeah. Okay, that's it. Thanks for asking, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, okay, bye.